Hello and welcome back to Podcast School. This is another A2 technology and design video podcast. This is the start of our look at digital counting. And before we really get into the electronics of that, we have to take a look at bases and be able to manipulate between them. Okay, so what's in this podcast then? So as I said, it's digital counting. It's the uh, the start of it rather. Uh, we're going to look at what decimal counting is, which should be very familiar to everyone, uh, what bases are, what base 6 is, what binary is, what hexadecimal is, and how we would best convert between binary and hexadecimal. Okay, so let's start off with decimal counting. Now this is the type of counting that we all learned when we were very young and uh, you should uh, have no problem uh, recognize, uh, recognizing this table. So, when we're counting, of course, we count in units. And we were told way back when that when we reached 9, well, then we added 1 to the tens unit, tens column rather, and then we reset our uh, units. So when we got to zero, 09, we basically go 1, 0. All right, we carry a digit over. That's decimal counting. Very easy. Now, why am I telling you that? Well, if we have a look at what base 6 is, instead of using 10 numbers, i.e. 0 to 9, we use only 6. Okay, so have a look at that. This time we're running from 0 to 5. Okay, and then when we reach 5, we reset to 1 and 0. So instead of nine, instead of uh, ten figures, zero to nine, we're only using six. Okay, that method of counting is called base six, and in fact, I've said there we can count in any base we like, three or four or whatever. It doesn't really matter. We've all just grown up thinking that we always count in base uh, or decimal uh, from zero to nine, but there's no need really. Now, binary. We've been through binary before at AS level, so this should be very familiar. Okay, so there is a representation of binary from uh, 1 through to 10. It uses base 2, because every, uh, basically there are only two digits, haven't we? 0 to 1, when we get to the 1, then we have to reset, and so on and so forth. So when we talked about binary before and very in podcasts before now, you may not have thought that it was base two, but indeed it is, and you can see that now. Okay, uh, we've said that we use binary there because it's uh, it's very easy to represent that in electronics. It's so it's either on or off, a high voltage or a low voltage, and that was the reason why we use binary. And so to hexadecimal or base sixteen. I've already said that hex hexadecimal is counting in 16s. So have a look at this. Here we have 0 through to 9 in our units column, but we also have the characters A through to F, providing us with 6 more uh, decimal units. So look, the decimal unit goes from 0 through to 9. We don't reset here as we would do in decimal at 10, but we keep going through to F. So F represents 15. When we reach 15, only then do we uh, do we put a 1 in our 16 column and reset our units to 0. Alright, so we're counting in 16s as opposed to 10s in decimal. Now, you might think that's a bit strange, but you'll soon see the reason for doing this and why six, uh, hex is so important. Now, here's just a, a quick um, example for you. Whenever we're writing hex, we always use an ampersand or an and symbol. So FF would be 255 in decimal, and 3F would be actually 64. Now, don't worry about that if you don't understand where those numbers are coming from. I'm going to show you now how to convert between binary and hexadecimal. 
Okay, so I've said that really hexadecimal's main use is for being able to uh, get us to binary quite easily and for us to interpret binary and to write binary more easily. So have a look at this binary number. There's 8 bits and you'll know now that that's actually called a, yeah, a byte. Now what you might not have known is that actually 4 bits, well that's called a nibble. Alright, so now we're going to use this 8 bit or eight, uh, 1 byte binary word and split it into 2 nibbles. So I'm going to split it just right down the middle there. See that? Now, so what I have left is 1011 and the other side 1001. So what I'll do is I'll convert this binary uh, nibble into, um, into decimal first of all, or sorry, into hex. So what we'll do is I'll say the first part is 1011. Now if you think about this in, in binary, 1 is a 1. This 1 represents a 2, no 4s and 1 8. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. Now, if you think back to the table that we saw in the last slide, 11 was actually a B, because remember, we went 9, A, which was 10, B, which was 11. So that uh, 1011 is actually B in hex. So we'll write that down. But what about the other side? Can you think? Well, 1011, 1 represents a 1, no 2s, no 4s, and 1 8. So that's 9. And an actual fact, a 9 in decimal is also a 9 in hex. So we can write that down. And then finally, we can bring them both together and our hexadecimal number becomes B9. Now, I think you'll agree that B9 is much more easily uh, written than this 8 byte, or sorry, 8 bit word or 1 byte. And that's the whole reason behind hex. It allows us to write bytes very, very easily. Okay, now that's just an introduction to digital counting, but unless uh, we quickly revised bases, uh, decimals, uh, base 6, base 16, which is hex, and how to convert between them, uh, it would make the next section quite difficult. So uh, this is the start of, as I said, digital counting. So if, you've met, if you haven't quite got all of this, don't forget you can rewind and have another look. And if you really want to, and I, I encourage you to, uh, email me at info at podcastschool.net. And don't forget also, if you go to the website there and look at and look at the uh, the useful information contained within the post of this um, podcast, you'll see that there's lots of uh, links out to various websites. In fact, Wikipedia has got a lot of useful information on this particular uh, content. So have a look at that. Okay then, until next time.